Hello, everybody. I'm Sheila Kamara Hay of Ecstatic Birth, and welcome to another Conversation to Transform Birth. Really excited to introduce you today to a beautiful mama. She just had a second birth that was ecstatic, connected to her body, connected to nature after a first birth that was not at all that, that felt the opposite, actually. And I'm so excited to introduce you to her, to have you hear her birth story and hear like what it was that actually made the difference from her first birth that might have felt painful and challenging to a second birth that just felt so expansive and so blissful and so pleasurable. So welcome. I'd love to introduce you to Denise Percy. Hi, Denise. Hey. Welcome, welcome. So Denise is uh, actually coming to us from Sardinia. She's she's of Dutch origin and currently uh, in Sardinia where she's mothering her two kids and, and living with her family. So I think the best place to start, Denise, is if I was going to ask you, you know, after your second birth, if I was, you know, a friend and we were having a cup of coffee and I said to you, so tell me, tell me, how was it? How was your birth experience? What would you say? <laughs> well, I, it was it was just a really a beautiful day that that yeah that went so quickly <laughs> somehow that yeah it was almost like a normal day in a way but it was it was yeah it yeah I wish I could um, live it again <laughs> um, yeah it was just like a a normal day where I woke up in the morning and I felt like in my my stomach started to get like some I guess to feel some sensations in my stomach and my 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 little my older son he really loves to see this robot um mower mowers that like mow the grass mm -hmm. and so I just went for him for a walk and I took my phone because I I I created this really beautiful playlist with music which was really making me feel so good with the perfect sound and the perfect uh, lyrics inside that was really giving that were really giving me a, a lovely feeling and I was just like there dancing and saying hello to everybody that was walking by <laughs> and I was just having so much I was feeling so connected to myself and to my baby and I was just feeling very confident and yeah and very relaxed and um, yeah I was really there were these beautiful roses everywhere that were blooming and they were so they had this beautiful sweet smell and I was uh, taking the, that rose and I was smelling it all day long as I was listening to the music and yes so I, I really like I, I, all my senses were really satisfied mm. in a very I was yeah it, it was yeah a very sensual <laughs> expensive journey uh, in a way um yeah and then I went home and I asked my husband if he could look for my son because yeah I felt that I I needed to have some space to just be with myself so I was just lighting up the candles and um like seeing all the the, the space I created with fresh roses and like affirmations on the wall that were supporting me and Yes, and I was just listening, like dancing on the music, like dan dancing with the waves that I was feeling in my body, and like, yeah, was really present with all of that what I was feeling, and I was really just um, welcoming all of it. I was saying all the time to myself, like, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. like give me, yes. I was so open to receive that because I felt really safe and and in myself and um, yeah and yeah so my husband sometimes came in the room and he, he gave me some fresh watermelon and I, he made me some pineapple juice so it was really so many amazing tastes and and smells and yeah and that's just how it continued for a very long time I was just dancing alone in my room and my husband came in to check how I was feeling and um yeah and uh, um yeah well then <laughs> and at a certain point I felt that I needed to 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 stay quiet a little bit so I I went to lay down and I was smelling the rose and and um I felt to go like on the on the ball and I suddenly felt like a very strong sound that just had to come out of my body 
and then suddenly my water broke and I and I said to my husband please can you please um can you please um turn like turn on the bath the bath uh, I need some water some warm water I thought because it, I felt so much intensity and I didn't really know how to uh to handle that uh, so he was like filling the bathtub, <laughs> but then the, the, my son, the, the head was already coming out. <laughs> so he came back two minutes later. And um, yeah, so I was like uh, pleasuring myself as the baby was coming down. So I didn't feel any pain at all. It was just intense, but in an, yeah, not in a yeah, painful way. And my husband was seeing in the mirror next to me that that was already down and he was like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then I just was waiting for my body like to, for the next surge and the next one, I just let my body like bring the baby down itself. And then, yeah. And then he was already born. <laughs> so and that was actually. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, one of the things I was noticing as you were telling this beautiful, beautiful story was just your energy and your face. Like you started in this place of, I wish I could do it again. And I, you know, it's, it's an interesting spot because how many people really wish that they could give birth again if they've had a painful birth, right? So you started with this, like, I wish I could do it again, almost like a little kid. And then <laughs> as you were reliving it, as you were telling us, like, there's just such a feeling of delight in every part of your being it was really beautiful yeah, yeah it's really it was really a beautiful journey just yeah yeah and and all the all the different pieces that you shared you know like you're outside you're connecting to nature you're dancing you're connecting with your body the watermelon the pineapple juice like you could really see how you had activated all of your senses you affirmations on your wall like you clearly had prepared for this experience yes, yes. Can you talk a little bit about that like what did you do to prepare how did how did you prepare to have such a beautiful experience I I connected a lot to my body to just tuning into what I need so when I was needing rest I just allowed myself to rest even that I was I I was and I am still a full-time mother that is constantly with my child but I was really giving myself the permission to to listen to my body and to yeah to to take care of my needs and then especially I tell talk about rest and then mostly in this moment of rest I was tuning into my body to connect with every part of my being to see how I was feeling and how if I was holding any tension and if I was holding any tension to release that from my body I was connecting a lot to my breath uh, to sound. I also used a lot of self-pleasure during pregnancy and yeah, to really tune into what I need. Uh, yeah, se sexually as well. And um, I didn't really have that support from my partner because somehow he didn't really wanted to have sex with when me, uh, when I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Um, because I, he was so scared. Um, so I, I was giving that to myself. Like I was, so I, yeah. So that's what I, what I did a lot. And I worked a lot on my fear, especially the fear of, I had a lot of fear of, in, of the intensity because of my first birth. It was so intense that I didn't know how to, yeah how to handle it or how, how to go through that. And I was, yeah, I had this huge fear and I was kind of searching for outside for people to help me, like to, to hold the space for me and to be with me on that journey. But somehow I didn't find anybody that really re resonated with my vision. And uh, so I found that community online with people that really believed that I could give birth uh, on my own and as well ecstatically and yeah somehow this the all these things together gave me the the support I needed to find safety in myself and also the power in myself um yeah to yeah and the belief in myself and my body that actually I can do this and that I that I am made for this and yeah yeah so naturally and also ecstatically <laughs> yeah, really beautiful. And for everyone listening, can you all hear how 
a lot of the things that she mentioned are not in our day to day, right? So she talked about like making sure she had plenty of rest, making sure she was constantly tuning into her body, feeling what was there, feeling what she needed, that the tending to her sexual energy, these are not ways that we typically prepare for birth, but these should be, right? Like this is this is an integral part of ecstatic birth training. This is an integral part of Obaby, which is the um, ecstatic birth training program that I offer. But really like connecting to your body and your sensations is foundational. I'm wondering if you'd be willing to talk a little bit more about your journey with that. Yes. Um, yeah. Also what you say, Sheila, always that like it is, it we yeah it is about you know, giving birth is about being in your body and not to be in your mind so i think the more we can um, yeah tune into our body to what we need and um yeah and to really be present with whatever we are feeling in our bodies whether it's tension or pleasure or sadness or fear and just really allowing ourselves to be present with that and to embrace that then we don't create any resistance in ourselves and in our experience so we can just kind of ride the waves mm. uh, yes so it's really about embracing and about compassion unconditional love and yeah acceptance of whatever is in especially in our in ourselves yeah and our, yeah and that was really the difference between my first birth and the second birth because the first birth i was resisting a lot the fear and resisting the the intensity and the the sensations in my body and that that kept me in a very negative cycle where i didn't know how to get out of it instead of this time i was just accepting embracing and even saying yes and more to it that yeah. kept me in the flow of birth. And yeah, and that, I think that's- So well big. said, so yeah. well said. I loved hearing you articulate that. And then the other piece that you had shared with me is the conscious cultivation and integration of pleasure. Will you, will you talk a little bit more about your journey with that? Um, yes. Um, yeah, pleasure can be, uh, for me pleasure was sexually but and but and also was pleasure uh, i think ple more in my this journey with the bird was more sensually by my senses that i was um, bringing more pleasure to my senses like to listen to listen again to the music i love to dance again to the yeah dance again to to just do what i love to do which which i lost a little bit on my mother mothering journey so i will i would just follow it my pleasure yeah by going into nature by by dancing by um by smelling roses which i really love the fragrance of that by by eating the watermelon and the, and the apple the pineapple juice that i was really that I really wanted to have in my birth, like to see the, to, to see these beautiful roses and all these beautiful things that I wrote on the wall. It was such, even only that was in itself was already an orgasm without having like a physical orgasm, you know, <laughs> just like, um, yeah, to follow your pleasure, like to wear the clothes that you love to, to yeah, just it was for me more, more that kind of pleasure and also sexual pleasure. But the, this sensual thing, I must say, was bigger, for, bigger for me than the se sexual pleasure. That's yeah. Kind of, yeah, yeah, beautiful. And and so pleasure, um, you know, as we talk about in the training, is pleasure is really expansive. Pleasure helps your energy flow, and pleasure puts you right in the hormonal system that supports labor and delivery, right? If you're yes. stressed, if you're contracted, then you're in the opposite of hormonal system. You're in your fight or flight, you're in your cortisol. And that is contrary to the yes. labor. So everything Denise is sharing, you know, we don't live in a, we don't live in a world culture that teaches us to prioritize our pleasure, but you can even see in her energy, you have like this like you, you, like you went to the best party that you could possibly imagine. Like this was like your wedding. This was your birthday. Like everything, like the affirmations and all, everything was designed for your pleasure. And, you know, in a world that teaches us pleasure is frivolous, that might, you know, for those of you watching, that might not quite make sense. 
But what you need to know is pleasure puts you in the hormonal flow. It puts you in the love. It puts you in the connection. It makes you receptive. When you walk into a space and all of your senses are delighted with pleasure, like you can exhale, you can relax, you can be, and you can flow. And this is all really, really, uh, really integral to labor. And then the other piece, Denise, that you mentioned that I think is really important is looking at your fears, acknowledging your fears, working with your fears ahead of labor. And that, you know, that's something that, you know, we live in the world of the secret. No, don't pay attention to the things that you don't want to happen because then they might happen. But actually your fears are in your body. And it's really important that you unravel them ahead of birth so that they don't come up and take over birth. So Denise, how did you, you know, you had a first birth experience that was really, really challenging. And so I'm sure you had a lot of fear going into your second. How did you address your fears? How did you disarm your fears? What did, what did you do? Um, I, I (laughs) felt through them. Like I, I had been, I had to have, I had nights where I was literally having panic attacks, like literally feeling the fear in my body. And I was really just, um, yeah holding myself telling myself that I'm safe um and but especially moving out of my mind into my body mostly helped me like to give myself a massage or also there to move with the fear or like to really give my body the sensation that I am actually safe Mm -hmm. Uh, or to talk with a friend that could listen to my fear without judgment or just to be with myself with my fear um and telling yeah just yeah, to hold space for the fear to just be there and then it will go away again. And and then maybe writing that, I wrote them down what I actually want to think because mostly it was just thoughts that were making me feel fearful. So instead of thinking those thoughts, I was writing then maybe an affirmation and put that on the wall for several weeks that helped me then to kind of um, replace that scary thoughts, thinking with some more, um, yeah, supportive thinking yeah that's of the things I did I think yeah yeah so just to highlight because these are really really powerful you didn't yeah. impose your fear you allowed yourself to feel it you allowed yourself to express it by talking to friends and then you made a different choice so yes. rather than suppressing your fear and trying to choose a different pathway your fear is still there when you suppress your fear what you actually did is you let your fear come up you let your fear have expression and then yes. from that place you were able to make a different choice and kind of reprogram your consciousness yeah. And belief system. Yeah, and in the beginning, I was looking at this, this uh, things I wrote down and I really needed to hear that. And at a certain point, I could even took that, oh, the, when the, the moment of birth arrived, I could even take them away. Like they were not anymore, yeah, they, they were not anymore necessary for me to see. Like it was yeah. already, I felt already more safe. In, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Really beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. And I think, you know, for any of you that are expecting moms wanting to know how you can have your own ecstatic birth, I really want you to witness how much consciousness and how much preparation went into this. Ecstatic birth is not like wish upon a star and hope it happens. Yeah, some people get lucky, but for the most part, we don't live in a world culture that understands how to support this expression in childbirth. And so there really is a lot of preparation, a lot of training, training of your body. Um, do you want to share some of like the ways you trained your body, Denise? Uh, yeah, I did your Oh Baby course and also the, your Body Awakening series, mm-hmm. uh, which really helped me a lot uh, by doing some exercise daily um for several months and sometimes in the middle I also stopped for a couple of weeks but then I kind of picked it up again uh so really also I just felt to myself what I really needed in the moment sometimes I just needed to rest and not do anything at all but really those those exercises um yeah your work is really amazing Sheila so I really recommend that (laughs) to anybody (laughs) so sweet thank you so much and yeah so a combination of like really conscious ecstatic birth preparation and really conscious like pleasurable training in general like really training yes. yeah and a supportive community that really like yeah that really believes that you can do it and that offers you the right information and also yeah yeah that's also i think very important yeah 
Amazing. Is there anything that you would want to share with mothers to be that you haven't already to support them on their journey? Um, yeah, just I would just say follow your pleasure. <laughs> just do what makes you feel good. Just eat the food you want to eat. Just listen to the music you love to hear. Just yeah, just do whatever makes you feel good and be yeah. That that's really the key, I guess, to be in the flow of of love and labor and every everything of life at the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A beautiful message and I like to say that pleasure is the most holistic birthing tool there is so I think that's really really powerful advice and it's not always easy so having people to support you having a community around you being in you know having the support of people that can really hold that vision for you is really really uh yes. powerful yes yes well, thank you so much. It was so beautiful to hear about your experience. It was so beautiful really just to feel your delight in sharing about it and 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 reliving the experience. And I, I wish that level of like love and reverence and play and pleasure for every every expectant mom along the way. It's really, really beautiful. Yes. Goodness. yes. And it's really possible. You can you can really do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you so much and thank you everyone for watching until next time <laughs> bye everyone <laughs>